Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to continue with the RNG series. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to make uh, a animation on the roll button and convert the animations we made in the first episode or the first series. Sorry. If you didn't watch the first series, you can no worries. You can just uh, pause the video and copy the code. I will show you it. Perfect. Uh, with that being said, join the Discord, consider subscribing and liking the video, and let's jump straight into it. So, first of all, we are going to convert. So, go into your last uh, uh, last place where you did the other series, uh, and no worries if you do not have uh, this. Uh, just copy the code. So inside of the first series we made, we made a script called UI animations. Copy this and paste it inside of replicate storage. Make a folder inside of here called modules and place it inside of here. And I saw that I made an error. So inside of here, uh, I typed x two times it shall be y underneath so x and y perfect now for those who haven't this uh, haven't done this script uh, pause the video and uh, yeah copy this code uh, i will scroll down so it looks like this perfect pause the video and copy it then you can uh, follow along so perfect uh, now we're going to call this function. Uh, so we are going to make a script inside of the role. Uh, we can rename this script to uh, button animations. Inside of here, we're going to reference the we're going to reference the replicate storage. Uh, Oh, uh, replicate storage. We're going to uh, define the UI animations, which is placed inside the replicate storage and inside of our modules. And because it's a module script, we need to say require before. So replicate storage, wait for child modules, wait for child UI animations. Perfect. Now we're going to loop through. Every everything that is inside of the screen UI, so we're gonna loop through uh, this, 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 and if we find a button, so this is not a button, it will not affect this. This is not a button, so it will not affect this. But this is a button, so it will affect that. So we're going to say for underscore comma UI in I pairs script apparent get descendants so we get every child that is inside of here everything so get descendants do if ui so if we find a ui button so a image button or a text button then we're going to say ui animations dot setup ui we we'll go ahead and test now okay so if we go ahead and test now you can see when we hover it gets bigger when we click it becomes smaller perfect uh, now we are going to first of all I'm going to set ignore UI inset on this one perfect now we're going to make an animation of this so uh, like you can tell we can't click every time or every second we need to wait some seconds so we're going to make an animation so you can see that so go inside of the animations or we can make it first why not so go inside of the button and make a frame call this animation frame uh, set the position to 0.5.5 uh, set the size to or we can just do it like this uh, place it in the middle follow the green lines there we go I need to scale it down first 
So fold it there. Scale it out. There we go. Perfect. Set a copy the UI corner. Uh, Control D. Drag it inside of the animation folder. Make the animation folder slightly darker. And set the background transparency to maybe 0.5. Perfect. And open up the plugin, scale it like always, scale on both position and size. If we do not scale, it will look it will look awful. So if I press offset, offset, I go inside of test, open up the device, you will see how the frame is very much bigger uh, than it is inside of here. So it looks horrible. So don't forget to scale. You can scale by using this plugin or you can scale by going down here. And if you open up the size and position, you get two values X and Y. If you go inside of one of these, you get scale and offset. You shall never or almost never use offset. So switch the offset to scale. If you use this, then you can have offset because if I say zero on this now, you can see how it goes to zero and I, I have to guess how much this shall be. Uh, so instead of doing that, use the plugin because I can just convert very fast. So instead of setting the offset to zero here, I can just press on scale and it scales out automatically. Perfect. Now we can set the size to uh, 0, 0, 0,1, 0, 0. Perfect. Uh, so the scale shall be 1. Uh, perfect, perfect, perfect. So if we go inside of our animation script or animation module and we go down to here, uh, after the end, we're gonna say animate or we can say uh, button or roll animations roll animation equals function text button uh, perfect and now we can say why is it uh, oh sorry we have roll animation up there we can say uh, roll a button animation uh, perfect we can say local animation frame is equal to text button dot animation frame uh, perfect animation frame and we can say animation frame dot size equals unit 2 from scale 1 comma 1 and if we say twin service create animation frame uh, info or we can make a new info so we can say local info 2 equals twin info dot new we can say one second enum dot easing style equals sign and enum dot easing direction shall be in out. Perfect. So if we say info two down here and in the property table we're gonna say size which is equal to gym two dot new uh, let me see zero comma zero comma one comma zero I think Perfect. So don't forget to play on the end and we need to call this so we can call it here animation module dot roll button animation and we're going to call the button. Uh, perfect. That shall work. So if we hover the animation works if we press nothing happens there it happened so it happens after 
that's good so I think that looks great uh, you can decide uh, you can put this above this one uh, if you would like that uh, I would not recommend that uh, let me see how it works nope so put it after uh, like we did first uh, like this uh, control X to cut it and put it here perfect I think that shall work great uh, yeah perfect so this is everything for today's video uh, in the next episode I'm going to make the inventory and the accept and deny button so perfect thank you for watching uh, and take care goodbye